This is Hydrogen Tap 1 Series 3. What we're doing here is testing the new system. This is one part of the system. We've got the same plates here that we had in Series 2. The plates are 5.5 inches by 3 inches wide. There are 11 plates, and we're using alternate positive, negative, positive, negative. The plates are separated by a spacer that's non-conductive and non-conductive screws that go through them. The plates are inside a tube which is three and a half inches across by 19 inches high. The tube is open at the top and on the bottom. The tube surrounded by water which is going on the inside as well. As you can see, we're running at 12 volts and a, almost 15 amps. This is tap water. And if you look closely, you'll notice the tap water is clear. This test runs for approximately eight minutes. This test I'm conducting to find out if running the plates in a smaller system, we will get more output with less amperage. If you can look on the left side of the voltmeter, you notice the volts are going down. It's because the charging circuit is not keeping up with the amount of current that is running through here. The battery is being used up faster than the charging circuit will handle. We're using a 12 volt battery, the same battery I've been using through all the experiments. What you're looking at here is the hydrogen bubbles coming to the top. There's two to one. The oxygen bubbles are very hard to see. But the interesting part of this test is that the water is clear. Normally the black or the garbage that we normally see inside the water after we run current through it is missing in this test. Again, this is tap water, and it is clear. The temperature of this water is approximately 80 degrees while it's running, and the temperature is the same on the inside of the tube as it is on the outside with the water surrounding it. What I'm trying to find out is whether or not this tube, this plastic tube, will tolerate the amount of heat that is going to be generated inside it, and whether or not we can generate as much hydrogen here in a small enclosure with less current. The reason for this is that we're having more flow through the plates, I believe, which should be producing more hydrogen. But since the plates are the same space apart, we're using the same amount of current. So theoretically, anyway, we might be producing more hydrogen. This is one of two tests I'll be conducting with this tube. It's running approximately eight minutes. And after this test is over, the next test I will enclose the tube in both ends, and we will try to get a reading to see how much hydrogen we're producing. 
We'll do it the same way we did before by putting a measuring cup up to it in millimeters and we will see just how much hydrogen we produce. Trying to get a temperature here. It was running around 80 some degrees. I can't remember exactly and I didn't get a close enough view of that but it was around 80 degrees it didn't go over that as you can see is running steady the other part of this test was to see whether putting the tube that close to our plates would cause any problems as we're seeing here, it does not seem to be causing any problems whatsoever. We'll get a closer view of everything. Those yellow objects on the bottom are the electrode fasteners. As I say, we're doing every other plate, positive, negative, positive, negative. You're seeing one side the yellow electrodes are all positive. On the other side, we got the alternate plate. Here's a good view of the tube that we're using. As I said, that tube is 19 inches high. Again, if you notice, this is clear. The water here is clear. The only thing we're looking at here is the white hydrogen bubbles. We just turn the power off and you'll see on the left side the voltage going up on the voltmeter because the charger is now taking hold. The charger that we have on there would have brought it up to around 14 volts. You can see the water clearing. We're at 7 minutes and 50 seconds into the test. It's a good shot at the plates. Like I said, there are 11 plates. The plates are five and a half inches long by three. The water is filling about two inches above the plates. The next video, what we'll do is cap both ends and we'll measure the output. As you can see, the voltage on the left side now is at 13.19 volts. The charging circuit has begun to recharge the batteries. And you can see how...